morning lovelies i am back with another pr haul i had a few requests to do some pr unboxings and i had some exciting things in the mail so i thought why the hell not especially considering this is one tire little mama bear um i am just over 29 weeks pregnant now and um nice unbroken sleep is a thing of the past so uh i'm tired most days now and i was up and down during the night again, and there's just not much you can do about it. So today I don't feel like getting glam or anything like that. I feel like being in my pajamas and having a slow morning. I've got this beautiful morning sunlight coming through the window. So I thought, you know what? It's the great, it's it's the great, it's the perfect time to do a little PR haul unboxing. Let's not dilly dally. I might as well start with the very first thing, which is actually the only thing I've purchased myself um, in this haul. And it sees Anastasia lip glosses. So it's like a little holiday lip gloss set. I'm a sucker for a good gloss and I saw these on Sephora um, and I got them. Do I need them? No. Am I happy I got them? Yes. A little sneaky peek, look at that. So I got this very generous send out from Elf Cosmetics. And um, it's to celebrate the fact that they're readily available in Australia now. So you can buy them from elfcosmetics.com.au or at any local Kmart and Target stores. I have already had a little sneak peek in here because I actually tried to film this video the other day and it didn't happen. So hopefully today is a better day. But I got a bunch of their skincare to try, which I'm very excited about. Um, and I want to do a video on it. I'm going to wait and probably do it, not next week, but the week after, just because my baby shower's next week. And I don't want to try any new skincare in the week leading up to in case it breaks me out. Um, but we have the Gentle Peeling Exfoliant. Now, I have a theory that I think this is going to be pretty similar to um, Wishful Skin's Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. It sounds like it's going to be. It has very similar ingredients. It's an exfoliating cleanser that gently peels away dead skin and dirt for soft, glowing, healthy looking skin. I reckon it's going to be the same type of technology, which is very exciting. Then we also got here um, this magnetic recharging mask kit as well, which looks so fun. So as you can see, you get like the actual jar with the product in it and it comes with one of those magnetic facial spatulas. So you literally like magnetize it, lift it off your face type of thing. So very, very excited for both of those to give them a go. And I'm excited to just try this and see if it's anything like Wishfuls and we can compare it in price and everything as well. And then I also got their Holy Hydration Face Cream, which is formulated with hyaluronic acid. Um, and it just says it's really meant to be like a really hydrating face cream, which I'm all about hydrating face creams. They're my favorite. So excited to try that. Then we also have the hydrating coconut mist. Love me a good old mister, good old misting session. And then we have a whole heap of makeup in here. So this first one I've heard a lot about, it's the Poreless Putty Primer. Then I have a blush in the shade um, Always Punchy. It looks just my type of color. We have the e.l.f. Cosmetics Total Facial Sponge. Looks really similar to um, Nikia Joy Cosmetics Facial Sponge and also Huda Beauty's. A lush palette here, which looks very nice. I like the colors of those. A Ride or Die Lip Balm. I can't go wrong with a lip balm. Like my favorite products are balmy, glossy lip products. They have these gorgeous shadows. Um, I'm gonna swatch this one because this looks really pretty. So it's their Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. This is Disco Queen. Now, if you haven't watched one of my hauls before, I don't often swatch in them just because I don't like to stick my fingers in products in case I'm not going to keep them. But I know I'm definitely keeping all of this e.l.f. cosmetic stuff because it looks really pretty. Oh, how cute is the packaging of that? It's tiny, but you don't need these eyeshadows to be big because how often are you going to use them really? They're kind of like special occasion things. Oh, that's pretty. So it's kind of like a chunky liquid glitter eyeshadow. So it's definitely like similar um, to the Stila glitter and glows, but maybe a little bit chunkier. Can you even see that on my hand? I think it's a really pretty reflect. Um, that would be a really nice New Year's Eve eyeshadow color, Oh show. And then we also have um, the color um, Flirty Birdie. That's really pretty. It's like a bronze color that also has um, silver in it too, if it'll focus. 
I like that, that looks pretty. Got myself a monochromatic multi stick in luminous berry. So it's like a stick that you can use on your cheeks or on your lips, I'm assuming, to give you like a little bit of a pout. This is a lip lacquer, it looks gorgeous. Sparkly. This is another lip lacquer, but it looks like it's in a matte shade called Tea Rose. So there it is, the shade Tea Rose. Then we've got some eyeshadow palettes in here, like little quads. So we've got um, Berry Bad and Truffle. They look like really nice colors too. I like those, nice and simple. Oh, there's another one. Didn't see that one. Pumpkin Pie, ooh. Now that's pretty, I feel like that is my vibe. It's definitely mum's vibe too. And then we also have three little lippies. They're all kind of like in the neutral spectrum of things for lipstick colors and that's them. They look really nice. I love the look of the packaging. So thank you so very much. Elf Cosmetics, I'm very excited to use all these. Um, I was thinking that I want to do like an Elf Cosmetics skincare video. So testing out their skincare. Would you guys like that? Like, would you like like a first impressions or would you rather it be something good that like I try for a couple of weeks and tell you guys what I think after a couple of weeks? You let me know. So I'm very excited to also have their, some of their cosmetics in my collection too, because I've been very curious about their brand for some time. And I just didn't think we could get it in Australia, but you definitely can. Kmart, Target, and online. So thank you once again, Elf Cosmetics. Now the question is, what pass, oh. I need to have a little sip of coffee before I unbox this one because she's been controversial, that's for sure. So I received this incredibly, oh, my baby just kicked me. Oh, it's a action packed morning. So I received a very generous send out from Mecca. For those who aren't Australian, Mecca is just like a Sephora. And they have just announced a very, very exciting new brand launching in Mecca. And I was looking on like I'm a part of the Facebook groups and stuff for Mecca and everything and a few girls groups and the controversy of it launching at Mecca. So Mecca is considered very luxury, high-end related products and they sell a lot of skincare as well. And um, guys, look what's launched there. Kylie's skin. I am actually very, 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 very excited to suss out this brand. Um, it scares me a little bit testing new skincare while I'm pregnant just because your skin can be a little bit more sensitive, but I'm willing to risk the biscuit to try it, you know, because I'm very excited. Um, so lots of people are just saying they don't feel like Kylie Jenner or Kylie Skin should be launched into Mecca because it wasn't luxe enough. So I have in here, we've got the Milk Toner. I don't really use toners, but I will give it a whirl for the sake of a review. We also have the Foaming Face Wash. I also typically do not reach for foaming face washes too often. Um, the closest thing to a foaming face wash I use is Gemologica's Special Cleansing Gel, which is a gel that you mix with water that turns into a foam. Um, so I don't know if it's safe diff or not. Then we have the very, very controversial Walnut Scrub. Now I, in my personal opinion, they would not still be selling a Walnut Scrub if this formula wasn't like semi-decent surely. Like, cause people were saying that the walnut scrub is too harsh of an abrasion for the face. So it can like tear the skin. But when I thought about it, I was like, well, I do skin needling, which creates micro wounds. Surely it wouldn't do more damage to your skin than skin needling would do, which skin needling is intentional. So maybe like the walnut scrub would do the same thing. That's even if it actually is that gritty. Like who's to say how fine it is really? Um, but I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to give it a go. Then I have the face moisturizer, which is a hydrating one. And then I have a vitamin C serum, love vitamin C. Um, if you're someone who is starting to get older, especially, not older, cause I mean 31, I'm 31, I'm not that old, but vitamin C is a really great skincare ingredient to include in your routine as you start to get older and you're focusing on anti-aging. Then we also have the eye cream. I love the look of all the packaging, like all the cardboard is like this beautiful, luxurious, like soft to touch cardboard packaging and then all the tubes are just so pretty and simple and just nice and pink like 
totally my vibe. So I really like it. Like, I think it looks really pretty. So you guys, let me know. Let me know what you would like me to do. Um, which one you prefer. Would you prefer the e.l.f. Cosmetics Skincare first or the Kylie Skin and how you want me to go about reviewing it. So next up, I got a bunch of deliveries from Huda Beauty. Now, if you guys have not um, seen like my tutorials or videos come up in your feed recently, the first package I got is actually Huda's brand new primer and stick foundations and I have already reviewed these so I'm going to link it at the end of the video for you so you can check it out if you're interested um, but Huda launched um, this new primer the jelly primer and also stick foundations now these stick foundations are a light to buildable coverage they're creamy they dry down but they're stu still like luminescent on the skin and they have no fragrance. So if you guys would like to see my full review on them, it's already linked um, in the description at the end, at the end of the video. So definitely check that out. And then we also got Huda's three new Obsessions palettes. I love Huda Beauty eyeshadows and I love her Obsessions eye palette like range. I just think they're beautiful. So this first one is called Sand, which is super pretty. It's kind of like a pinky brown with some golds tap of eyeshadow dealio then we have purple which this is gorgeous I haven't used it yet but I really need to dip into it for those who don't know I love purple colored like mauvey colored eyeshadows so this is just stunning and then we also have haze oh sorry haze oh they're all called haze khaki <laughs> haze khaki obsessions I have used this um, super pretty don't know if it's my favorite palette, like the colors. I really liked them in the little eye look I did, but I don't think it's like type of colors that I would wear incredibly often, but I do love it and I'm excited obviously to own it because they are stunning. I mean, options are always fun, aren't they? And then inside this little box here, we got Huda's brand new Naughty palette. This, guys. This is so stunning. So first off, um, we got a set of brushes actually with the palette, like a full, they're really nice brushes by the looks of it. So you could do a full eye look with all those brushes. And then of course we got the Naughty palette. Oh, this I feel like is such a holiday vibe. Like I'm going to definitely have to do a holiday tutorial using this eyeshadow palette. So the outside of the packaging, look, I don't actually love the front of it that much. Um, burgundy, not really my color, but when you look inside, holy moly, like that is so pretty. And check out that pearl um, color. So this is like, this is apparently a gloss creamy eyeshadow that also has pearls baked into the formula. Um, I do not think it's the type of eyeshadow I will personally use. Um, I couldn't think of anything worse than glossy lids personally, um, but I know some people do really like that type of thing. And I think Huda is very creative and she likes to bring different things to the market and sort of mix things up with her products. So um, I'll certainly try it out um, and let you guys know. But all the other colors look divine, like an incredibly beautiful palette. So thank you so much, Huda, for all those very generous send-outs. Huda Beauty is still my favorite brand in the entire world. I just cannot get enough of their stuff. I'm, I, I'm in love. I'm in love with Huda. It's my favorite. Next up, I got this delivery in the mail from Maybelline, and it's called their Lifter Gloss. Um, and I think, I think this is their entire collection. Ten shades. And do I have all ten? Oh, I think I do. Oh, that's exciting. So there's a little information pamphlet on it. And these look so beautiful. The packaging looks stunning. The colors look stunning. Like how lovely are they? So these are Maybelline Lifter Gloss formulated with hyaluronic acid. They look stunning. This one here in particular. Oh, this one just has my name all over it. I can already tell. What color is it? It doesn't say oh, on the top. There we go. Ice is the shade. Like, look at that packaging. Isn't that gorgeous? Maybelline. I'm impressed. Let's quickly try this on. Oh. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I just stuck it in my nose. 
one, it feels amazing. So it feels very hydrating, very silky, but it's not crazy sticky. Mm, I like that. And I don't know what that smell is. It smells really good. It kind of smells like vanilla cross coffee. Like, I don't know. I don't know, but it smells very good. So thank you so much, Maybelline. They look absolutely beautiful. I think I'm going to be getting plenty of wear out of them because I am a massive gloss addict. So I shouldn't have worried about buying those Anastasia ones. <laughs> I like the packaging of these better too, actually. Really pretty. Yay. I'm getting sweaty in my dressing gown. Oh. So next up, I received a very kind send out from Mecca, another one. So Mecca sent me the Kylie skin and they also sent me some of their very own Mecca Max holiday collection range. Now this range, ugh, Mecca Max have just done so well in developing their own brand. Their stuff is like the cutest. They've got the nicest packaging, like how beautiful are the holiday boxes for Mecca this year. And they just have such awesome products. I'm really excited about what's inside this box of goodness. So first things first, we have this contour highlight and blush cream stick trio. I'm very excited to give these a go. I want to do like a little Instagram video at least on them, demoing them out because I've heard incredible things. So I'm very excited for that one. Then we have a little gloss ornament, so cute. I love little holiday um, limited edition giftings that come in packaging like this. I think they're just the sweetest. So that's a little lip gloss. Then we have a little mini eyeshadow palette. And this is in like really pretty kind of berry colors. What's it called? Starry Nights. So that's really pretty. I don't want to take the plastic off just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes so I may not keep this one, but it looks beautiful. Then we have this big bopper eyeshadow palette. So this is called Looking Locking Eyes Eyeshadow Palette, sorry. And look at the inside. I don't want to take the plastic sheet off yet again, so I'm just going to hold it on a funny angle. Try and get through the light. But that is stunning, like gorgeous colors, beautiful holiday shades, beautiful everyday shades, like just stunning. They also have little um, brush kits. So this is the, I don't know what this one's called. This is a little eye brush set. So it comes with a little makeup bag as well as a four piece eyeshadow brush set, which is really nice as well. Then we have some more skincare and it is a Happy Juice Brightening Skincare Set. And um, it comes with four of their iconic products. So you've got their vitamin C serum, you've got their daily truth cleanser, you've got the um, C Rush brightening gel cream and also the banana bright eye cream. And like I said to you guys earlier, I love a bit of vitamin C. So unfortunately this is not being gifted on to anyone. I'm definitely keeping this. And then next up I have this little box from Dermalogica. And this is their new micro pore mist and it's a pore minimizing toner which is so cool. So I've got a little headband with it. And here it is. So it's in the clear start range. Oh, this is gonna be good for me because, girl, I've got big pores. So it's just like a facial spray that's meant to help minimize the appearance of pores. And it's in the Dermalogica clear start range, which is like um, specifically targets um, skin concerns like acne breakouts and acne prone breakouts. I can't really smell it. It smells like cucumber. Thank you so much, Dermalogica. Very excited to get stuck into that. And obviously I'll keep you guys posted on how I like it. And then I got this delivery from Sigma. It is an advent calendar. So it's a 12 days of December, or 12 days of Sigma, I should say. So you're meant to start opening it from the 1st of December, I believe. I've never had an advent calendar before. This is my first. I haven't touched it yet and I tried not to look at what's inside. If you guys want to buy it too and you don't want to see what's inside, don't look at this next clip. This next clip. Don't look at this next clip because I'm going to show you what actually comes in it. This little card does show you and I only looked at it briefly and then I like put it away because I want to be surprised when I open each day. But this is what comes in the actual advent calendar. Stay tuned for my Instagram stories for that because I'm going to be undoing a day every day starting the 1st of December of this advent calendar. I thought that'd be a fun little thing to do for the holidays. And then I got a restock of my favorite fake tan, which you guys 
you all know by now, Loving Tan is where it's at. So they have sent me a beautiful big care package to stock me up this summer because for those who don't know in Australia, it's just starting to get warmer here. So we've got all my favorites in there. We've got the mitts, the exfoliating mitts, the applicator mitts. We've got the gradual tan in dark. We have the um, face tan in dark and we have the two hour express in dark as well. So thank you so much Loving Tan for the restock. I'm gonna be bronzed and glowing right into labor. And then last, but certainly not least, I have this huge box. And guys, it is so pretty. Like, it is so pretty. They have killed it. So, in this collection, there's a bunch of different things to choose from. Here's a quick little snippet of the information. You guys can screenshot that if you like. So the first thing we have is the Essential um, Trio Brush Set. And this retails for 29 USD. Love the colors of that. So gorgeous. And you've got some really great brushes in that set and it comes in like a little travel tin. Then we have the eyeshadow palette, which is also $29. This looks beautiful. Oh wow. That packaging, gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Those colors. Oh wow, I might have to do a tutorial using this. That is stunning. What a lovely little eyeshadow palette Sigma. Love that. And then next up we have the Rose Glow Cheek Duo that also comes with that travel blush brush. And that is 35 USD. Wow, this looks really pretty too. Wow, that is stunning. How pretty is that little palette? That is so nice. And the packaging. I'm unsure if you can use my discount code on holiday collections, but if you can, um, it is always just Hannah. You can enter that at checkout. So definitely try your luck. Then next up, they have the Petite Perfection brush set, which, oh, nearly dropped it. This one is $25. So you get the little makeup bag plus those three little eyeshadow brushes. Then we have the mini lip set. Oh, they look pretty. $39. They come in a little gift bag, like a little makeup clutch as well and then really nice like shimmery holiday type colors so they're the colors on the back there and then if you really like the look of the lip glosses the face palette and the eyeshadows you can get it in this gorgeous set which comes in this makeup bag and this retails for 88 usd sigma you have killed it this looks so pretty i think i definitely need to do like a tutorial using all of this so you guys let me know if you guys like to see that you guys, let me know if you guys like to see that. So many guys. So unnecessary. <laughs> oh, you just let me know. So that is all I have to show you in today's unboxing. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments section any tutorials or specific video requests you have in mind featuring anything you've seen in today's video. And I'll add it to my list and we shall try and get it done. I'm going to get these products put into my collection and then um, I need to film my makeup collection for you guys soon too. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. It is coming, I promise you. Now that it's starting to get warmer in Australia, I've got really beautiful natural light that comes into my beauty room and it actually makes me want to be in here and film more just because the lighting is so nice. Um, I look really washed out right now, but it's because naturally I'm like very pasty and I've got no fake tan on today. So I'm blending in with the walls a bit, but that's okay. Anyway, I've rambled enough. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be chatting to you in the comments section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.